Hi, I'm Katie Scoob, and welcome to Crow Country. This is a game, or this is a demo that I found on the PS5 PlayStation Store. I don't know about, much about it, but it kind of seems like Silent Hilly. The music is giving me major Silent Hilly vibes, and that's all I need. If any of those need changing, we can change them later. Like right now, this game is kind of loud. Much louder than the Silent Hill game we played before. Um, survival horror or exploration? We're gonna survival horror it up. Yeah. 2024. That. oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be like, this, this year? Wait. 1990. So the ancient past. My name is Mar Mara? I was gonna say Maria. Mara Forest. Special Agent Forest. That's me. Don't forget. <laughs> Please say your name one more time. Don't mess it up. Mara Forest. Mara Kama Forest. So, <laughs> the aesthetic is what drew me in. The character looks kind of silly. Especially because we're like... An agent or something and we're in this little white dress. And look kind of puppety. Missing persons report. Atlanta Police Department. Okay. Name. Edward Crow. 57 male. Occupation company owner. Land owner. Health condition. Unknown. Last seen by Mr. Tolman. 42 male. Last known whereabouts, Crow Country Estate. Oh, that's the M? Oh my. Reported by Natalie Crow, 27 female, relation to missing, daughter. Reported to officer, Detective Harrison James. This is a lot of info. I guess it should be. I knew there would be something in there. It's locked. There's a silver keyhole, L Crow. I don't have a silver key to stick in that hole. We're being watched. Huh? There's blood on the ground. What happened here? Oh my god. No, this aiming is gonna be rough. And that's a good thing, because this is survival horror. It's a car. This is a really nice car, but it's covered in trash. I guess the owner doesn't care for it anymore. Take it. It's our car now. Do we have anything? There's something important stored in here. Open it. It's a body. It's my box of handgun ammo. Should I stock up? Yes. I have enough. Okay, so... We can't close our trunk again. Is this a key? No. Alright, can we just leave? I'm over it. Let's leave. Ooh, before we even do anything, can we just, like... Well, we reloaded. How do I... That made me happy. <laughs> Thought we were gonna have to find a key. I was like, how are we gonna do that? It's a ticket booth. I have, I have no intention of buying a ticket. What's that? It's a pocket light. Looks like somebody dropped it. Well, it's ours now. It better not have batteries or I am 
not <laughs> going to enjoy this game. Oh, this is cool. What's that? Diagram of video game controller. Okay. <laughs> it's a cool way to show things. It, I kind of wish this was outside so I knew how to shoot and stuff. Like, it popped up on screen little images, but I thought, like, the bullets, I don't know. Quick turn. Woo, 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 woo. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So, <laughs> you can control it with either this, the little analog, or you can use the D-pad. And if you use the D-pad, it's tank controls. And that's why there's a quick turn. Woo! I like the little sound. The sound kind of reminds me of Stardew Valley. Megabyte magazine. Tips and tricks. You can rotate the camera. Also, the camera will quickly face forward when you press R1 to use your weapon. Okay, that's actually handy. You can hold down. Okay. The advantage of using R2 is that it frees you up to use that to rotate your camera. There's nobody there. This place used to be fairly popular with locals. That is cute. We're gonna reach in. Because we're a freaking trash goblin. We got a med kit. Crow country. It's ominous that the music is playing. It's ominous that the music stopped playing. There's bullets or cigarettes on the ground. Either way, disgusting. Medkit. Do we have a limited inventory? It's a possibility. But right now we have... Date of birth, January 12th, 1965. I don't know how old that makes you. Firearms expert. And I'm not gonna math to figure it out. When shooting your bullets... When shooting, your bullets will do more damage if you're closer to the enemy. However, if you get too close, you'll be in danger of being attacked. These are some weird adverts. Like, I don't know why that's... here. That kind of scared me. Like, I knew I was shooting it, but I didn't... I don't know. I thought it would unlock something, or... Oh, this place is... Something terrible happened here. There's bullets on the ground. Uh-oh. Is the flashlight helping at all? There's bullets in the sink. A laser sight for a handgun. Oh, I wonder if this would be, like, if we would get this, like, later in the game, once it's, like, fully released. I don't need to go right now, thankfully. Are we okay? Wait. Oh, did me shooting that hurt us? My bad. It's a toilet. There's something in there, but I can't get at it. It's blocked by a pile of old bones. That's... Is that a full rib cage? Nope. Beyond Magazine, August 1987. Strange sighting in an abandoned theme park. Spying paranormal photographer Arthur Mole sent in a pol Polaroid he took while exploring the abandoned amusement park. Co country. Could this thing possibly be real? Or is it just another hoax? Or is it another elaborate hoax? Here at Beyond Magazine, we're not convinced. Try a little harder next time, Arthur. Oh, it's cute. It looks like it's doing a little dance. Like, Lethal Company dance. I love it. We're gonna be besties. And I'm guessing that's what's in here. There's something blocking it. Can we get a little peek inside? Something's moving in there. Oh, but it's, like, just out of view. I love this. I am loving this so far. Is 
this the men's bathroom? It said unisex, ma'am. It is ahead of its time. Vending machines and trash cans may provide you with supplies if you're running low. You can also get handgun ammo from the trunk of your car. I like that. It's survival horror, but if you don't if you run out of ammo, you're not completely fucked. Because there's some games that are like, it's survival horror, and then it gives you no ammo whatsoever, and if you waste any of it, you're screwed. You can't beat the game, because there's no knife or crowbar or anything. UFO Tour 1988. It's empty. Did somebody lose it? What? Was that like a badge? We should heal. So, triangle makes us back up for some reason. I'm kind of mad that I did that. Hello. 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 Some kind of dead animal. I can't make out any features. That's because that is a pile of goop. That is no longer anything. There's a lock. Bronze keyhole. So that crow goes to a different area. <laughs> I love the crows. Did we search this one? I guess not. I actually could have sworn we did. That explodes. Not gonna mess with that. There's something behind the big crow. Can we take a look at it? I feel like it's gonna eat me. Hello, Mr. Crow. I'm looking for your boss. Do you know where he is? It's a big crow. Can we break crates? I don't want to waste too much ammo. There's nobody I can call. Hello? It's a fortune telling machine. You have ten credits remaining. Would you like to hear your fortune? Is this a hint? Sure. Talk to the tree there to enter the fairy pond. It is a hint. And it sounds dope. Metal panel. There's a hole for something to be inserted. My ID, obviously. Oh, it's a med kit. Is this something? Shotgun shells. Oh, we're getting stocked up already. Wait, why are we getting so stocked up? Like, we just walked into this place. Is it gonna throw us into, like, a boss fight right away? Is that what's happening? Antidote. So we can get poisoned? I'm guessing we can break these. I am 100% right. But did you doubt me? What's this? Hello, employees. There's something wrong with the ventilator in the fairy pond area. We think something might have crawled into the pipe and died. Don't run the ventilator. And if you do, hold your breath. Seriously, that is the opposite of what a ventilator is supposed to do. Fine, I admit it. I dropped the bronze key into the fairy pond. It was an accident. It wouldn't be such a problem if we made a spare. That's also true. You should always have a spare. It's like there's a silver keyhole. I don't have any keys. You can quickly defeat enemies by exploding the red barrels. Knew it. Similarly useful are the blue electric generators found on some walls. Yeah, that hurt me. Ice cold soda pop. Kick it. Nothing. Kick it. Two more tries. One more. Okay, well, I tried.
fairy tale town. I want to go here. Like, in real life. I don't give a fuck if it's abandoned. I want to go here. Soda can? It's one of the... 2106. Two, one, zero, six. I think it's written in blood. Is it a code for something? Why are these moving? It's a little sussy if you ask me. That's moving. What's that? It's a spinning picture of my face. Spinning face? Is that a collectible? Uh. <gasps> I almost stepped into that bear trap. That would have been not good. Why is there a bear trap? I'm going this way. I'm hoping there's no bear traps this way. It was just some cute ducks. And a beheaded seagull? Oh, it's been broken. I want to know how to repair it. So the eggs are going missing. I think the kids are stealing them. Luckily, it turns out you can use anything, as long as it's about the right size and shape. It's weird. I assume that the eggs were magnetic or something, but apparently not. Examine. Oh, yeah. Got some more shotgun shells. It's a newspaper. The Atlanta Globe, May 1986. Crow Country theme park opening soon. Cancel your weekend plans with the in-laws and grab your sunglasses. A brand new theme park is opening just a few miles southeast of Atlanta. Explore fairy tale town, haunted, yes. An ocean kingdom at Crow Country, which promises a day full of fun and adventure for the whole family. The park is owned by Mr. Edward Crow, a lifelong Atlanta local and landowner. Yes, that's right, it appears he named the park after himself. He's rich. He don't give a fuck. He's gonna name everything after himself. Not much is known about Mr. Crow, other than vague, unsubstantiated reports that he is exceptionally wealthy. He made a theme park and is a landowner. Duh. Especially in these, in this, in these years? In the 86s? Nonetheless, we look forward to seeing what Crow Country has to offer when it opens its gates this summer. Well, so far this looks like a normal theme park. Is there something like sus as fuck going on behind the scenes? Like, are they turning people into crows? If a swan breaks down, just take the egg out of its wheel system. Doing so disables the radio signal and locks the wheel until you can get a me mechanic out to fix it. So we need an egg to, like... I can reach the edge of the water. So we can use the an egg to like drive. Oh, I see. So we need to Oh, it's a swan head. I thought it was a Do you have an egg in your mouth? Okay. So we're going to have to get an egg, put or something egg-shaped, put it in its mouth, and then escort the swan around next to the this little hole in the fence. Okay. Love it, love it so far. Alright. I'm going to try not to use any more ammo yet, because I'm not sure what we're going to fight. I'm assuming... Hello. It's a giant mushroom. He doesn't look very happy. Is this a door? I can't see a way to open it. Polaroid? I think it's broken. Yes. 
might be laying over there. I thought the mushroom was a goopy monster. Hello. You may be a little cartoon dude, but would smash. Sir, what happened here? What? Who? My name is Mara Forest. I'm a ranger. No, I'm not a ranger. <laughs> the forest made me think ranger. I'm a detective? An agent? I'm here to help. They attacked me. All I wanted was proof. What's your name? Arthur Mole. I, I just needed a better, a clearer photo. A photo of what? Who attacked you, Arthur? Those things. I don't know. Those people. They saw me and... Alright, stay calm. You're bleeding quite badly. Alright, bestie. I'll be back for you. I'm hoping to get your number. What's this? I knew it was a cigarette machine, but I was hoping it wasn't. I'm not allowed to smoke. Why is there a cigarette machine in a theme park? That's... Ugh. With the staff memos posted on the walls around the crow country. In every save room... There's a save room? There's a book containing all the staff memos you've read so far. Oh, that's handy. Oh, this is... I don't know why. I feel like we're gonna fight a gargoyle. Hey, Ed. Want some good news? I finally found a good site for your gold mine. For our gold mine. It's in Para, northern Brazil. Just like we wanted, there's a dis used mine here. The locals gave up on it years ago. It's still in decent shape, so it shouldn't be too much work to get it looking the part. If they gave up on it, there's probably nothing in it. I wonder if this is, like, set or random. Like there's a random chase chance of something falling out. Or if it's like you kick it ten times, something will fall out. Or they'll randomly have one. It's like it was done with wire cutters. I think this is how Arthur got in. Seems like he cut himself on the fence. And that's what drew the monsters. This one's not a crow. Can we put the grenade in the swan mouth? It's kind of egg shaped. If you're looking for the machine chain, one of the swan boat people took it to fix a broken swan. I told them not to take it, and they took it anyway. You can't reason with swan boat people. Words to live by. Oh, that one didn't have anything in it. You alright? What did you say your name was? Mara. Come on. I think we should take a look at your leg. Give healing item. Fucking duh. What do you think? We have four large med kits. But I don't know if a normal med kit will help. Let's try a normal med kit. Thanks. I still feel kind of bad. Come on, let's get you moving somewhere safe. You don't look too heavy. Just move Arthur. Move. Yeah. We could take him back to our car. Wait, is that happening? Common sense? In a video game? He'll be safe there for now. Two one oh six. Is that this? Is 
there's no O though. Hmm. It's a wooden carving of a woman. She's facing the other way. She's also moving. Wait, does the mushroom have a keypad? Doesn't look like it. The theater is locked. Oh, we dropped something. Tree Lady, 3184. Here, let's go up here first. calmly walk away from this whole situation and hope they don't follow me. Oh, fuck. Okay. I activated all the monsters. Oh, no, there's so many of them. Will it pause? Three, one, eight, four. It doesn't look like it did. I think I remember you have to talk to her. There was some kind of phrase you had to say. I don't remember what it was, though. Hear me? Oh, beauty, be beauteous fairy of the fairy forests? I guess I was wrong. Maybe the staff have it written down somewhere. Stomp on it. You're not gonna say anything about this? Pearl. Okay, I'm gonna guess we can set traps with banana peels. Well, now that I accidentally activated all the monsters, I might as well go back in here. I keep pressing the wrong button to shoot. Stomp on him. It's dead. Ugh. The smell is so bad. Like an infected wound. I feel bad killing it. But I feel bad leaving it alive too. You also feel worse if you let it kill you. So, you know. I wonder if this is gonna have multiple endings. I know some of the Silent Hills are like, if you kill two, a certain amount of enemies or something, you get a different ending. It's a wooden crate. There's a note taped to the lid. Ship to Marvin. So this is going to Is this going to that mine? Which one is embedded with pieces of shiny metal? Is this a crate full of gold ore? Take one! Take it! It looks like the right shape for an egg. Can I ask why the dig site access is that cute little house? Do you think there's a chance that some kid would want to go looking in there? At the very least, let's keep it locked via the keyhole on the mailbox. Alright, so it seems like... Is there something inside? It seems like maybe the amusement park was a front for a mining operation? I'm not sure why. Hi, this is... Awfully cute. Is this a safe room? Oh, ammo came out? I thought a pop was a pop was just gonna come out.
It's a med kit. I am gonna be honest, I did not see that. There's like metal ore everywhere. Gold ore? Mining your own business. Economics of the mining industry. Industry. Joseph J. Carden. It's a picture on here. Remember to get into the fairy pond area. Say this out loud to the fairy. Hear me, oh great fairy of fairest forests. Okay, I got the hear me part right. It's pretty sensitive. It won't work if you have an accent. Sorry, Diego. Well, that's fucking rude. The fairy, the one in the tree in fairy tale town? Couldn't hurt to try. It's a collection of video game tips. Ah, so we can see all the tips we found around the map, too. All that glistens. A history of the 1848 gold rush. We got a map. How do we map? R1. Ooh. Key? Lock door, open door. Okay, so we entered in the staff parking. We looked at all, all of this. Oh, I guess we didn't. We didn't look at that one door. It says there's something... Yeah, it says there's something this way. The fire is crackling softly. Staring into the flames, I feel something. It's a curious mixture of hope and dread. Maybe everything will be okay. Maybe it won't. Is this a save? Dope. It's a letter. State Court, 185 Central, okay, Atlanta, legal summons. Dear Mr. Crow, I am writing to you in relation to the incident which occurred within your theme park in July of 1988. As you know, a 15-year-old girl by the name of Elaine Marshall was injured. The incident occurred within your prem premises and within working hours. As such, the Marshall family is holding you personally responsible. Your presence is required in court. We expect to hear from you immediately. Sincerely, G. Williams, State Court. Okay, dope. That was worth it. It's an ashtray. I'm surprised this whole place hasn't burned down. Right? Got an antidote. It's a couch. It's chill. It's comfortable, but I don't like sitting in it. It's a ring bound book. It's a collective of staff memos. So that's where the staff memos are. Cabinet. There's a keypad down here. Oh, what was that number? Something, zero, something, something. Oh, great. Something, zero, something, something. It's a notebook. Tolman's records. Monday morning, driving to work. Boss calls me to into my car radio. Boss calls into my car radio. He doesn't normally do that. Something has obviously gone wrong. Intruder alarm going off in the second unit. Boss thinks someone is down there get to work check the security camera someone is down there <laughs> he's standing right by the pool all security doors down to the pool are locked check security records doors untouched since 6 p.m on friday alarm has only just been triggered i turn on the intercom try to communicate no response but i can hear the sound he's making something is wrong his clothes don't fit him something is very wrong creepy <laughs> If you're using, you can do a 180 turn. Yeah, figured that out. Think so. That looks like another map. Okay, so I'm gonna go 
get that code again. Did I look at this? The fire marshal was here this morning. She said the following rooms are due to in due for inspection. Crow's Lounge, Northwest. Model Railway, Central. Utility Corridor, Southeast. Submarine, West. Crow's Office, Northeast. Wednesday. Wednesday? Underground, Crow's Lab, Underground. She also said we need to replace the Ocean Kingdom storeroom door. Sus. Please don't come back. <gasps> oh no, oh no, they're hopping. No. Uh. Oh, that was purple, am I poisoned? I'm poisoned. Yep, I'm poisoned. Okay, well, at least we have three of these. Oh! What? Where did this come from? Oh, that's where the- where he was chilling. <laughs> what? You can just walk through it? 2106. Damn it. I was hoping they'd trigger the bear trap. 2106. Okay, they're not here anymore. Whew, okay. Um. Oh, this one doesn't have a zero either. What? What's gonna have a zero? Maybe it's eight six eight six. Nope. So our only lead right now is this fairy. She was a fairy. Hear me, oh great fairy. A fairest forest. Welcome, child. Well. You protect our precious natural world? I will. Follow me. There's a patch of passage through the tree. It fit through easily. I mean, where else are we gonna go? That was pretty cool. Ooh. Uh oh, behind the scenes. It's a valve. It can be tightened. Well, we're gonna tighten it. Keep tightening it. Okay, well. Control ball. Ventilator override, do not touch. We're not gonna touch that. <laughs> not yet, at least. I mean, it makes sense that the steam hurt us, but like, oops. So the guy who fixed the water filter did it by running it through the air ventilation system. What? If you run the fil filter pump behind the curtain with the incorrect pressure, too high or too low, it'll trigger the ventilator. Be careful. You can tighten up the pressure using the valve handle. What? I'm not sure what that means. That's a stupid place for that. It's a very easily... I understood it in the end. Aiming's a little wobbly, which makes sense because you don't want it to be perfect. Ah, bestie, hi. That was scary. She's holding a key. Bronze key. That was neat. 
its engraved message, those who seek the truth stare into the pure reflective water of the fairy pond. Read the gameplay tips posted on walls around Crow Country. In every save room, there is a magazine containing all the gameplay tips you've read so far. Thank you. Appreciate that. I think I did that water thing right. Soda can. Just trash. Are we in the back rooms? <coughs> Who took the Ocean Kingdom restaurant tried it. That thing is expensive. And without it, we can't do the Happy Birthday Sea Monster song. Someone said they saw it. In the Witchwood? I'd go check, but that place gives me the creeps, honestly. To the Witchwood! Can you hear something behind it? Nothing is on fire. Is this the back rooms? <laughs> Watch out for metal bear traps laying on the ground. You can set them off in a safe distance with a single handgun bullet. I was hoping I could use them to mess with other freaking with the monsters but I can't Are you, you're telling me that didn't explode okay well one more try and I hope it's not a waste and it was a waste damn it well you don't get anywhere by not trying so what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> yeah, no. No, we're not. We're not doing that. No, no, no. Uh uh. Here, let's go. We're gonna head back. Check on the <laughs> one guy and get more ammo. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all. Why did it slide like that? Oh. We're gonna move on. Wait, is there? <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong button for inventory. I really like that you can control it with tank controls if you want to. How are you doing? I'm okay. You can be honest, your leg hurts pretty bad, right? Yeah, it's throbbing, it feels weird. Yeah, you have a headache and feel kind of queasy? How did you know? The thing that hurt you, it hurt me too. Not the exact same one, but still. Do I need to go to the hospital? Mara? Just a tight, all right? You'll be safe in the car. We should probably take him to the hospital. Are you done? Can we leave? No, sorry. Why? What are you doing? I have to find Edward Crow. The owner? Mara the, Mara, the park shut down ages ago. He won't be here. He's here. I have to talk to him. Why? There's something I have to tell him. Silver. Bronze key. Okay, we have the bronze key. 
None of the doors are marked on the map with like what key we need, but that's okay. <laughs> if you tap it, she does a little jaunt. It's silly that it's showing a like a SNES controller and not like a PS1. Ew. I don't like it. <laughs> I knew you were in there. It's covered in blood. It smells so bad. Oh my god. I was hoping there'd be something in here. Ugh. It's a sink. The faucet is running. Turn it off. Agent Mara Forest saves the day once again. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to get more ammo. So we're gonna go do that. <laughs> oh, it's locked from the other side. The crow scared me. Silver key. This one's bronze. Oh god, hurry, hurry, hurry. It's looking at us. Go! Thank you for playing Crow Country. Aw. I really like that. I'm excited for the full game. I was like, um... I guess we did do at least one puzzle. I was hoping to do the swan puzzle. But we didn't get anything for that. The aesthetic was good. The sound design was good. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. Let me know what you thought. <laughs> I'm a little giddy. That was fun. It really... It's like a really good... PS2, PS1 survival horror like I don't know I don't know what else to say it was really cool what did you think about the game if you'd like to see me do any other demos or games or anything let me know my name is Katie Scoob and I hope to see you for the next video